Now I'm going to teach you the topic hidden edges in the orthographic projection. What is hidden edge and uh, how we draw. So I'm taking one example. Let's say this object is given. This is the front view. Now when you see from this side, you can see this surface one and this surface 2 in the front view so how you draw you draw this front view 1 and you draw surface 2 and when I say from the top view you can see the surface A and B how we draw so this is the surface A and B just I'm making the free hand sketches now when I say the same object is there but not in this side the object is placed in this way Now the object is placed in this side and you have to draw the front view top view from this side. What you will draw? You can see the surface. You will draw this thing only as front view and what will be the top view? The two edges. Now tell me in the front view why we were making this edge. You have done this edge because of this edge and this edge overlap and you are having this edge. Right? But when you are making from this side, you are making this side only a straight surface but behind that there is an edge if I make an edge so this edge and this edge these are present in the surface but not visible from this side so it means here should be one hidden line continuous dashes which will represent the hidden edge ok I will take one more example let's say a box is there and inside the box there is a groove like this and a edge is given now what will you say about this object when you see from this side you can see this surface only so you will draw this front view and what will be the top view its top view will be having this edge inside but if it is made up of transparent glass means you can see throughout so it will have a hidden edge here for the internal surface like this so it means it is having these hidden lines which are present in the object but not visible so that is the concept of hidden edges we have to imagine every object as a transparent one and we have to draw the hidden edges so if I have to draw the hidden edges how many hidden edges will come one for this overlap with this one for this overlap with this means I have to draw one hidden line here and second hidden line here like this just the projections of this one I'll take one more example let's say a cylinder is there and what you draw the front view front view of this you draw a rectangle only and what will be the top view this thing only but if I say it is having this shape now you will say front view same top view two circles but even then if I say it is a transparent one then it means this this circle it is showing the internal circle it is showing the internal groove means okay I'll make it more clear if I cut it let's say I cut this cylinder the internal part of cylinder it is like this only like this when you see from this side now if I'm saying the front make the front view of this what you will draw surface 1 surface 2 and what about this as the concept of cylinder it will look like a straight surface so this is one two and three like this this will be the front view why you are making these lines just to show these edges but these edges are present in this also but not visible means this edge and this edge so we have to show this in this just imagining a transparent object so it means it will have two hidden lines in this way why I am not making hidden line here and here because if I take it depth throughout so this edge will overlap with this and this edge will overlap this so only one and one they are coming like this so this is the concept of hidden lines whenever we have any edge which is present in the object but not visible we have to draw the hidden edges we know the shape of hidden line it is having 1 mm gap 3 mm length 1 mm gap 3 mm length this is the formation of hidden edges we always draw the hidden lines 
to just to show the hidden edges. So this is the concept. We will use this concept in the main diagram. 